what is up guys alex here here i have the redmi k30 um i bought this phone and um i just wanted to be doing a quick uh, review um on this phone and i'm going to be unboxing it to see what the box brings yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys what the box brings uh, some of the specs is this phone has a sound test and a game test to show you guys what this phone is like and if you guys do want to buy this phone um but yeah let's get on into the unboxing what is up guys, Alex here. Here I have the Redmi K30. This is a phone that I just got. I've been waiting for it for a few days. Um, I got this phone uh, for the channel. Um, I, you know, I just wanted to do a real quick little unboxing, aka review on this um, phone. Tell you guys some of the specs that this one has and what it's all about. So down here, we see that this is the 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage version of the phone. Um, this is, I got, I believe I got the purple one. Um, but yeah, let's just get on into the unboxing. I'm gonna lift up the box. They always bring a case, I don't like that about them. They come with a pre-case that you don't have to go out and buy a new one, as I've said before. Yeah, here are some of the manuals for the case. How to put it on, apparently it's all in Mandarin. Um, or Chinese or Japanese, I can't tell which one it is. But yeah, here's the case. I'll be talking about a case later on in the video once I uh, put in all my credentials of the uh, phone. But yeah, here's the case pretty much. Uh, they're very solid plastic uh, case. I'll talk about that in a second. So then here we have the phone. Let me put it off to the side. And then we have the wall, regular wall adapter. Um, now we don't have to worry about, you know, having to have that separate... Uh, addition to the wall adapter this wall adapter is 27 watts um so yes that's a bonus for me and then we have the regular usb to usb type c um but yeah i'm just gonna leave that in the box and that was pretty much all that's in the box i can't lift that up but yeah now on to the phone so yeah here's the phone and it looks like it was taken out of the box before because i have all these lines right here these marks but yeah we're not gonna do anything about that i'm just gonna take out this phone Quick thing about this phone is that, I guess, so yeah, here's the phone. Um, It has this right here. I don't like that very much. It, it's, it, it weirds me out a little bit, but we can't do anything about that. This is, it has quad cameras. Um, Yeah, and here we have the speaker grill, USB Type-C, and microphone hole, I think that is, and then a 3.5 millimeter hole for the headphone jack. Um, here we have two cameras, if the camera can pick that up right there, as two cameras. And then, yeah, the camera, as I said before, I don't like this little ring around it that says designed by Redmi. Um, I don't see what the point of that is. And then here, I don't know what these holes are. I'm guessing a microphone and then one for the, uh, something else. Um, here we have the, uh, for the S SIM card right here. This is the hole for the SIM card. When you put the SIM card in. Then on the side we have this power on button I believe and then the volume volume up down up and down buttons. Yeah, but that's pretty much the end of the case. You could put a case on it, it came with. Um but yeah, now I'm just gonna be turning it on, putting my credentials, and then yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick uh test if it runs games well and talk about some of the specs that this one has. Guys, okay, so I have the phone out, but before I get to playing a game or doing a a sound test, I want to talk about the case that it does come with. Uh, this is a, uh, I wouldn't say high quality case. It's a very cheap case nonetheless, but it does protect your phone where you don't have to go buy a case unless you want to if you want more protection. And it, this phone does not come with a screen protector, but as you guys can see right here, it has these dimensions, these borders right here that protect the screen. That if you drop your phone, just, um, flat on the ground the phone will not break um this this case also has this like usb type c uh protector here at the bottom where it protects your usb type c it's like this little latch that when you're done charging your phone you just plug it in back in and nothing will uh fall inside your charger i feel like that is very good because a lot of like dust gets in the charger and it you know it blocks a little bit of battery from coming in the phone but yeah in the same sense i like the same how everything is being positioned for the uh the, right here this is the fingerprint scanner aka also the uh turn on button and power off button um but yeah i like how this case is built um but yeah in the same sense i will be doing a test right now for the uh a fingerprint scanner right here on the side where it is honestly this is one of the fastest fingerprint scanners that I've ever tested uh, literally just one tap and the phone is already unlocked and as you guys can see if I try and do it with my other finger the phone does not unlock but then again a very light tap 
the phone unlocks immediately. Uh, same goes for the um, Face ID, but I'm going to be doing that uh, separately for the Face ID. Um, but yeah, again, security-wise, this phone, 100%. Uh, that's another point for me. It is very secure. Um, but yeah, now on to the uh, screen. All right, guys, so this screen is 6.67 inches uh, wide. It has a hundred. It's 107.4 centimeters uh, squared. It has an 80... It, 84.8% screen to body ratio. It has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and HDR10, and it's 120 hertz. That being, if you guys don't know what hertz is, is 120 FPS. Um, I did get the 8 gigabyte RAM version, 120 gigabyte. So this one is for gaming. I'll be doing the game test in a second, but I just want I just want you guys to see the colors. This is up to 16 million colors of a screen, and yeah. Then the entire body of the phone would be 6.67 inches if you add 6.51 times 3.0 times 35 inches, it would equal up to that. But yeah, this is the screen as by 1080, 1080p by 2400 pixels, 20.9 ratio, and it has a 395 ppi density. It just want you to guys see the screen. You can also zoom it in and then zoom it out right there where it's original. Um, I want you guys to see the camera up here. It doesn't block much of the screen. Plus, you could just have it like that and um, it will be the original video. Um, but yeah, the camera does not block much from right here from the movie or and or video that you will be watching on this phone. Alright guys, so right now I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, sound test right now for this uh, phone. This phone does have just standard um sound that it's not very loud. I feel like it would have been louder for the price of this phone. But uh, whatever can you do for the price of this phone that I will mention at the end. But yeah, just listen to that sound. guys as you guys could have heard that uh sound honestly i feel like it would have been a little bit better um the microphone for calls it does have active noise cancellation but for the speaker girl that it has it's not that very loud it only has 192 hertz of audio um uh, producing outwards but I feel like that it could have been louder for this phone and the price of this phone um, but yeah it does come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, that you can put your headphones in and it, I mean it, it does they do have a loudspeaker but when you're close up to it while watching a video I think that you'll be satisfied with what you're hearing out of this but then again I feel like it would have been a little bit louder if you're gonna watch a movie with a friend then this phone could have been louder alright guys so I'll be playing Fortnite for the uh, game test. I'm also just gonna talk about the specs that this uh, phone has because I haven't really gotten onto that. Um, this phone has a CP. This phone has a octa core, gigahertz Cairo 470 uh, gold uh, CPU, and it has an Adreno 618 GPU. Uh, the chipset is Qualcomm SMD 730 Snapdragon 30G. Um, and it has Android 10.0, which I think is the newest version of Android. Uh, the cameras, it has a 64. Um, this is a four. Uh, this is a quad camera phone. It has a 64 uh, megapixel camera, a uh, wide by 26 millimeters. It has an 8 megapixel camera, ultra wide 30, 13 millimeters. It has a 2 megapixel camera, which is dedicated macro camera, and it has a 2 megapixel camera which is a pretty much a depth sensor and it has a dual LED flash which is right here at the back dual LED flash um, it ha also has and the video records at 21 2160p by 30 FPS and then lowered will be 10, 1080p by 120 FPS and then 720p by 960 FPS so the lower um, so the lower, so the so the lower quality you get, the more FPS you get out of your video. Now the selfie camera is a 12, two, one of them is a 20 megapixel wide camera, and then the other one is a 2 megapixel dev sensor uh, for your camera. It features HDR and 1080p by 30 FPS. As I said, it does have a 
3.5 millimeter jack and honestly once i heard the battery of this phone and how much battery it had honestly i was surprised this phone has a non-removable uh 4500 milliamp hour battery so that is honestly amazing i think that lasts up to 20 some 24 hours 30 hours of uh, usage on your phone however depending on how you use it um but yeah i'm just playing fortnite right here yeah so i'm just playing fortnite right here i'm just gonna get in a quick match and to show you guys is this phone does get hot while i'm playing i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the phone a little bit better um but yeah all right guys so here have it i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see uh well the screen and then I'll just go on into the conclusion of the video and end it off right there. I am very bad on Fortnite Mobile. I usually play Fortnite on PC. So this is a kind of a new experience for me. I have played it before. Um, but yeah, I don't enjoy playing Fortnite Mobile. Again, I, I have gone into settings. I put the settings all the way up. But so you guys can see. Settings. You can't put them high, much higher than 30 FPS. And the the thing you can only put them from um medium you can put them from medium uh to to low so that's that's a bad thing on my part um but yeah i'm just gonna play really quickly dude what did you shoot i wanted to aim in what the hell oh, oh my god i'm so terrible And the, the phone it is getting the phone is getting hot. I do feel it the phone heating up. Um, I'm just gonna hurry up and get the chest. The phone is definitely heating up. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound quality. It's good. The quality is good, but I've always said, what is quality? Oh, you guys just saw a little bit like I do have um. 10 apps open but a hey, this phone has eight gigabytes of ram not many phones do that <coughs> apple apple uh yeah not many phones do have uh eight gigabytes of ram i'm um, depending on which model you use it um but yeah this phone honestly it's holding up pretty well and i think i have, have around 10 apps open that i was using before like youtube spotify and many apps like that oh, i'm getting a sniper right now but yeah, just real quick, I'm just gonna do this. And then just end off the video right here. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video on the uh, Redmi K30. Uh, this is a phone that I've been wanting to get for a while, honestly. I didn't really know, I just wanted to get this phone for the channel. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys want a comparison with this one and the Samsung Galaxy A51 that I've previously just done an unboxing slash review on it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just post this video right now and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.